Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another week's edition of Heat Press Nation Live. Yeah. My name is Esteban, this is Jared, and we're so happy to have you guys here with us. Yeah, we're super stoked to be here, and as you guys can probably tell, we're not in our normal spot. So if you're watching today, today is a special episode of Heat Press Nation Live. We do have the, uh, the iPads here, so if you guys have any comments or anything like that, be sure to uh, tune in for a shout out. Uh, super excited to be with you guys today, but yeah, today's a very special episode, right? Absolutely. As Jared mentioned, you may notice we're not in our normal uh, studio audience setting. We're actually coming to you live from the sales floor here at Heat Press what Nation what? headquarters, beautiful yeah. Orange County, Southern California. Uh, as Jared said, we do got the iPad here, so uh, we're going to be going over some awesome heat presses here, showing you kind of maybe what's best for your particular needs. If you guys have any questions, make sure you get involved in the comments Just section. Type away, type Jared's away. Jared's monitoring YouTube. Yes. And I can see we already have a bunch of YouTube people chiming in. So we got King Green, uh, Angelic Smith, uh, Deshanta Langford Black. Everybody's dropping in saying hi. Let's see, we got a couple of other ones here. Kim uh, King Green says we get our whole shop delivered from HPN. Nice. Super stoked on that. And of course, if you guys have any questions at all, HPN, we offer lifetime tech support on all of our products that we sell. And uh, we have probably my, my favorite member of the tech support team right here. Oh, you learned it all from this guy right <laughs> here. And Mike, want to give a special shout out to our dude, Good Mike Garcia, filled in while I was uh, out of the country last week. So if you guys tuned in or if you want to take a look at the past Facebook Lives, Heat Press Nation Lives, YouTube Lives, you can head over to our YouTube channel. It's going to be youtube.com slash Heat Press Nation. I mean, you guys have been banging out a bunch of videos lately. Yeah, lots of stuff coming in. Uh, we were able to bring on some great staff this year, some new staff, so we're able to, uh, yeah, get a lot of YouTube videos done, a lot of cool stuff. If you guys, you guys got to check out the YouTube channel because we just dropped this really funny, really fun video with Esteban <laughs> and then with our great pal Joe uh, from Caesar North America. If you guys don't know Caesar, then you don't know heat pressing. Straight up, Caesar, you know they're the kings of heat transfer vinyl. So yeah, that was a super fun, that was pretty funny. It was, a, it was a really good time, man. Always love having our boys in town. It's always great when Caesar and HPN get to collaborate. Um, speaking of collaboration, if you guys haven't already, make sure you check out our Facebook group. It's gonna be Heat Press oh, Nation right. Creators. Oh man, I mean, we can't say enough good things about this group. Yeah, there's so much stuff going on there. Uh, and it's really great because we're at like over 3,000, I think close to 4,000 members in there already. Um, and it's really a lot of people just like you. So uh, whether you're a beginner, you're an intermediate, or you're a heat press veteran, there's people there from all experience levels. So it's really cool because like we'll see people asking questions, and you know it is moderated by the pros. So you have like guys like me, Anna Stevan, a couple of other staff members here at HPN. Uh, we are you know moderating the comments, we're answering questions as best we can. But really, there's so many awesome people on there that sometimes before I even get to a comment or to answer a question, I can see there's already like four or five people already like giving some really pro advice. So it's a really cool, super helpful community. So guys, if you're not in our Facebook group, be sure you get out there. It's facebook.com, or I'm sorry, go to Facebook, uh, and then in your groups, just look for Heat Press Nation Creators. I That's believe right. it's there on the bottom of this. It might be, I don't know. If, I at some point it will at be. At some point. But anyways, just look, Heat Press Nation Creators, guys. Really awesome place there. That's right. And then uh, if this is your first time tuning in to Heat Press Nation Live, we like to have a lot of fun up here. We're talking about contests, giveaways. There's so many ways you yes. guys can get entered. One of them is going to be actually liking and sharing this video. That you're watching right now. You guys can do it right now if you want. You want to give them a second? Yeah, go ahead. We're going to pause. Uh, I got my smartwatch. This is not the new Apple watch. This is the original smartwatch, guys. There we go. It's talking Casio about that Casio everything. calculator <laughs> on the go-go. Uh, but yeah, let's give them a second. We're starting now. We're, we're pausing for you guys. We're literally pausing this broadcast so you can like and share this post and enter to win. We'll get going. We got we got a little time here. We got a couple seconds. We're good. We're we're good. good. You think we're good? Is that enough time? I think they're good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So if you like and share, you'll be automatically entered into the drawing. Um, if you like and shared last week, we'll be revealing that winner in a later post as well as post of the week. Yes. Jared, tell them about, a little about post of the week. So post of the week is really cool. Um, we get lots of people sharing their work, which we encourage. We love it. We love to see what you guys are working on. Um, by the way, if you want to share your work, just use hashtag HPN Creators. That's it. Hashtag HPN Creators. So throughout the week, um, we see a lot of posts in the Heat Press Nation Creators group. And then we also have a lot of posts using the HPN Creators hashtag, uh, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, uh, doesn't, you know, lots of different stuff. All of so, your social media platforms. Yeah, so we pick our favorite three posts. It's like, kind of like a staff pick 
but then we let you guys vote on the winner. So uh, we're going to allow you guys to vote. Now, we will be presenting Post of the Week and our special drawing uh, at a different post uh, today, just because we are. If you notice, we don't have our, our full setup here. We are down here in the showroom, live here at uh, HPN headquarters uh, in Fullerton, California. You can see it's a sunny day out there, so it's yes. nice. Too blessed, too blessed, guys. <laughs> so as we mentioned earlier, today's going to be sort of a heat press buyer's guide. We're going to be going through the different sort of categories, classes, and features, see really what's going to be best for your individual needs. But I mean, let's, let's crank it back a little bit. What, what is a heat press? What does a heat press do? A heat press is basically a big iron. Right, and, and I know that that sounds weird, like, oh, can I just use an iron? Okay, well, here's the thing about a heat press. Whenever you're working with heat transfer materials, whether it's heat transfer vinyl, um, whether it's heat transfer paper sublimation, whenever you're working with heat transfer materials, you really do have to have an even and consistent pressure, temperature, and uh, time. Time, that's right. And time. So those are the three major keys. Now, a heat press, it is technically, yes, it is a big iron, but the reason why it has a huge advantage over a hand iron is because with a hand iron, as you've seen, we, we've done already two heat press versus hand iron matchups. Yes, we have. As you've seen with a hand iron, it's kind of hard to get consistent, consistent being the keyword, consistent heat, temperature, pressure, or sorry, and time. Time. I said heat and temperature. So nah, was, anyways, anyways, guys. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, so that's basically what a heat press is. Uh, you know, it doesn't have any magical powers. I know we get this question a lot, the heat press doesn't actually print anything. Yes, exactly. It's going to be transferring or pressing with controlled time, temperature, and contact. Exactly. And so as a result, you don't need to plug it into your computer. We do get that question as well from beginners. <laughs> and by the way, this episode is geared toward our beginners, uh, people who are just getting started. If you've been kind of on the fence, You've been wanting to pull the trigger on a new heat press or a new uh, customizing equipment, but you don't know exactly where to get started. This is the episode for you. So if you have any questions at all, we're here. We're streaming live right now to YouTube and to Facebook. We got the we got the iPads here with all the comments That's coming right. in. Uh, we're going to do our best to answer as many questions as we can live here on the air. But the ones that we don't, we're going to get to them uh, immediately after the broadcast. So be sure. Uh, whether you're watching this live right now or somewhere down the line. That's right. So we kind of went over what a heat press is, what a heat press does. There's going to be two main types of heat presses, I would say, generally speaking. We're talking about your clamshell and your swing away. The swing away is going to be just as the name implies. The element's going to kind of lift up. It swings. I don't know. I hope, I hope you guys can see that right there. And then the clamshell is going to be more of your kind of crocodile mouth, kind of like an actual clamshell here, wah, wah, angled wah. open enclosure, as you can see. And they're going to come in a variety of different sizes, classes, uh, build constructions. And we're going to go through those right now. But Jared, what would you say are some of the main things to look for when deciding on a heat press? So when, you're, when it comes time to look for a heat press, and there are tons on the market. Here at Heat Press Nation, uh, we've taken the time. We only sell heat presses that we think, you know, that hold up to our standard of quality, of durability, uh, and to prove it, we back everything with a one-year warranty uh, and our lifetime technical support. So if you're buying from Heat Press Nation, you can rest assured that it's a good product. But, you know, when you're looking for a heat press, uh, you're going to want to look for that quality, uh, the quality of the build. So Absolutely. you don't want something that's super flimsy, that's going to break, the handle's going to break after 10 presses. You don't want anything like that. Uh, another thing you're going to want to look out for is a digital time and temperature gauge. And what we mean is, right here, you're going to need to set your time. So your, your most heat presses, they will have a timer on it. Absolutely. And whenever you close the handle, it'll just automatically count down. That way you know you're getting the precise amount of heat and pressure on there. Exactly, and that digital display for the temperature, I mean, when you're gonna be doing maybe mixed media or dip, bouncing between different sorts of heat transfer, you wanna know where your heat's at. You wanna see real time, what kind of temperature you're working with, so digital time and temperature display, definitely, I would say, in my opinion, crucial features for a machine. Yes, you don't wanna have to guess Or what be your cranking the kitchen timer. Yeah, or, you know. You know. Uh, you know, on some heat presses, you know, there, there are other, you know, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't have a digital time temperature gauge, but if you're just getting started, <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to pass up on that feature. So that's really cool. Um, one more thing that you, that you want to do is you want to check the reviews on the heat press. Absolutely. You know, uh, I mean, you can see some beautiful photos on there. You can see some nice feature lists, but having the ability to 
you know, really see what other users, other consumers are saying about the products before you buy. I would certainly say reviews, you know, just beforehand. Doing your due diligence is definitely going to help go a long way to making that right decision. Reviews are, I mean, it's a big part of, I'd say, today, especially in e-commerce. So, exactly. uh, I mean, if you guys have any questions, I'd invite you guys to check out the review section of the Heat Press Nation Facebook page. Got a lot of, lot of, lot a lot of love of out there. there. Thank and you, guys. You know, and I was just looking, all the Heat Presses on our website, uh, most of them are four and five star averages. Uh, I think there's like a couple, we had a couple people maybe got there late, I'm not sure, but yeah. we, you know, we encourage you to read them for yourselves. We use a third party uh, review system, so if there's a review on there, like we don't hide them, we don't mask them, like the reviews, they're honest, they're there, uh, a lot of them are verified, um, and so are from verified buyers, I should say. Um, so be sure to check that out. Check out the reviews from the verified buyers um, and see for yourself how much people love these machines. We're really proud of that. We have really great uh, review, four and five star review averages Absolutely. on all of our heat presses. Uh, and we, I mean, you see a couple of them back here, the M press, which is right here. This thing's a workhorse, it's a monster. I think it's the most reviewed product on our site and it has a really hearty, like I think it's like a 4.5 or something like that. Absolutely. Really high rating, especially when you consider this current age of like everybody, they just, you know, people aren't very nice in the comments or in the review section. You know, it's <laughs> they get, your courage level goes up behind the keyboard, yeah, I'd say, of sorts, you know, expressing I, your opinion. But thankfully, you know, it's largely been positive reviews in regards to the stuff. So, you know, it's a, definitely a team effort as far as that. Um, now, the last thing I would say you definitely want to look for in a heat press is going to be that after purchase support. I mean, yes. you may see that great deal on Amazon, but you know, come to find there's not really going to be someone to call if you need a replacement part or you need some general troubleshooting. If you're going to have that after purchase support, that peace of mind when you get into your new equipment that you're going to have assistance and that's something we're proud to offer here to all of our heat press nation customers. Yeah, so you have that one, uh, so one year uh, warranty and lifetime technical support. Por vida. Again, we can't stress how important that is. Uh, we hear, we get so many, we get, a, I shouldn't say like a zillion, but we get a really good amount of customers who call us after their eBay press fails or after their Amazon press fails and they, they have nothing, they have to just ship it back or, or whatever. You know, they get literally zero support from there and we're really proud of our support that we're able to offer, whether you're five years down the line, six years down the line, uh, with one of our heat presses, you know, p please feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to help troubleshoot your issues. That's right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. those are the main things I'd say to look for. Your quality in the build, the digital time and temperature display, super helpful. And then the reviews and after purchase support. Those four things are, you know, something to keep in mind when you're making your equipment decision because it's likely going to be a big purchase. I mean, yeah. if you're getting something small format, 16 by 24, you're likely dropping a lot of money on this and we want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. But it's yeah. Go ahead. Oh, exactly. And then, so those are the four things that you should look for regardless of what press you're looking to buy. Uh, now, after that, there's other features that we're going to show you on different heat presses. You know, of course, it always, I think the first thing you want to consider is your budget. How much do you have to spend on a heat press? Or not just spend, how much do you have to invest in a heat press? That's the first thing you're going you're gonna to consider. And as your budget increases, the available features on your heat press will increase as well. So we have, we're gonna show you guys right now. We're gonna get right into the heat presses right now. Um, but you know, as the budget increases, so will the features available on your heat press. So we're gonna start with some bare bones machines. We call these the workhorses because man, they will smash out whatever you got, whether it's vinyl, uh, whether it's heat transfer paper, whatever it is, sublimation. Uh, these heat presses will all cover it. They've all been tested uh, for, different, for different features. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to walk you guys through them. You guys ready? Absolutely. Yes, we're ready. Rock and oh, roll, I, guys. They said they were ready. Did you hear I heard that? it. I heard it, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, as Jared said, you know, there's going to be different sort of classes, as we would say, of the heat press models as far as costs, quality components, uh, volume capacity as far as workload. We're going to start off initially with the home use class. So as Jared mentioned, we do carry the M press, which is an absolute workhorse, pretty much your kind of standard sort of press. And I think we have some of those on the stage here with us, right Jared? Yes we do. So I'm going to scoot over so you guys can see what we're hiding back here. So we have, now this is a 16 inch by 20 inch Empress. So it's really cool and we're going to let camera two get in here if you want. You can go ahead and kind of scoot in there. So we have our Empress. This is a 16 by 20 inch Empress. Now Empress is kind of our bare bones workhorse machine. You can see it still has the digital gauge right there so you can set your time and your temperature. Of course, it has the adjustable pressure on top. Uh, and then boom, now we got a WD-40 that. This, this is our showroom model. So <laughs> it gets more use than your average heat press. It's just everybody all day long is just opening and closing it. 
This is the Empress. This is the 16 by 20 model. We do have it in a 15 by 15 inch size, which is one size smaller. That's right. And then we have a 16 by 24, which is one size bigger, right? Absolutely. There we go. The 1515 is going to be a square, as you can see here. The 1620 is going to be a little more of a landscape orientation, as will be the case with the 16 by 24. But if you're looking to get started, maybe you know you want to just begin out of the home, or maybe you're looking for a strong secondary machine, the M Press is definitely a product favorite, I would say, amongst our Heat Press Nation family, and for good reason. I like this one. Yeah. Now next we have, this is also going to be in the home use category. That's this right. This is brand new. This is brand spanking new. We have our HPN Craft Pro. This is a 15 inch by 15 inch model. Uh, it has the digital time and temperature gauge. Uh, and what's really cool, what sets this one apart from the uh, Empress, look at that. Built, the, built with the crafter in mind, uh, trying to take some of the awesome features from the you know other parts of our Heat Press Nation family tree of machines and implementing them for the crafter. This is still going to be regarded as what we would say personal or home use as far as volume, but I mean, as you can see here, loaded with awesome features, super sturdy construction, built to really take your crafting uh, work at home to the next level. Yeah, so this is the HPN Craft Pro 15 by 15. I see we have this question here on YouTube, and I'm, I imagine we have it on Facebook as well. What you got? Is when is this getting back in stock? Guys, we are hoping to ship these uh, by Halloween. Uh, that's about when our container is going to be getting here. So HPN 15 inch by 15 inch Craft Pro, we are expecting to have those uh, by, you know, Halloween, which is the 31st of October. Let's be back in stock, ready to purchase. To be honest, we're, we're pretty psyched on this product. We did not expect it to sell out as fast as it did. No, absolutely. It totally caught us Super uh, by successful surprise. launch. We've been so excited. We've been working on this actually for quite some time for those of you guys tuning in. So uh, really excited to offer this finally now for you guys. It is coming back in stock. This here is going to be the 15 inch by 15 inch model. It is also available in a secondary size. I believe that one's going to be the 13 by 9, right? Right, that's correct. And the 13 by 9 is currently in stock right now. So hey. we do have that available. Uh, the 13 inch by 9 inch. Sorry. Oh, confused on camera here. <laughs> okay, just look at right there. There we go, right there, that <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, 13 inch by nine is in stock right now. It is available. We do have some of those left, so be sure to get on that. But if you want to wait for the 1515, it'll be down. ready. Oh. It'll be ready by about Halloween. So we're expecting that ASAP. Uh, let's check in on our on our questions really yeah. quick. Oh, we have a little live visitor. Absolutely. I right uh, want to give a big thank you to all of our regulars. <laughs> uh, he press uh, live uh, family members here tuning in this week again. I see we got Stevie Steve representing now from uh, New up? York. Uh, Lisa Peckinpah tuning back in here with us. Uh, Paula Warner tuning in from uh, Pennsylvania. You got how far do you got? I got uh, Savannah, yeah, got, Georgia. I don't think we have a lot of cities. No one's shouting out their cities no there worries, on YouTube. No. But we have a King Green saying we have the 16 by 24 inch. Signature series with the auto open door. That's a monster. That is a beast. And it makes sense because he comments, I plan on doing some big and tall gear. That is excellent to keep in mind. Awesome, One thing awesome. that, is, that should be a factor is what size uh, garments do you plan on, plan on pressing? If you're going to do, I would say if you're going to do like up to a, uh, an adult extra large, you'll be fine with a 15 inch by 15 inch heat press. If you plan on going a little bit larger, maybe like an adult double X or triple X, a 16 by 20 will work for you. I wear, this is a, a triple X that I'm wearing right now. Triple sexy. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's a triple X that I'm wearing right now, uh, and I press this. I personally own, and we're going to get to it right now, but I personally own a signature series, uh, 16 inch by 20. I do my side projects on there. I, I work at home. A uh, little, little side hustle, you know, no big deal. But uh, yeah, 16 by 20 works perfectly for me. Um, but as mentioned, if you want to do plus size, like large, like 3X, 4X, 5X, you're definitely going to want to go for the 16 by 24. It's going to have a huge pressing service so you can get full coverage uh, on your garments. That's right. That's right. So here we kind of started off with uh, the personal home use class of machines. Moving next along in the roster would be kind of regarded as small business level production. Yes, exactly. So this is something maybe you've moved up. You need a couple additional features uh, and you're ready to go. So I'm actually going to scoot over. We're going to move out of the way. We're going to show you two of our best sellers here. These are amazing. Absolutely. I love these heat presses. They're fantastic. This is going to be the HPN Black Series. That's right. And we have, uh, what's, what have we got for them? Well, up front here, we have the 15 inch by 15 inch HPN Black Series. Uh, what I love about this one, it's actually equipped with dual fuses. So, you know, should anything ever kind of surge or, you know, issue wise in the home, you're never going to really lose a step in production. Uh, this one here is going to be built, I'd say, slightly 
more robust, a little more tank-like uh, when compared to yeah, the a M-Press. More heavy duty. It's going to be designed for a slightly higher rate of volume, wouldn't you say? Exactly. So if you're if you're going, you know, you're running your business, you're doing just a little bit more on average. Um, you're going to want the Empress. Now the 1515, we don't have it shown right here. Uh, it seemed to have made its way off of the press, but this one comes with a secondary leverage handle, right? So there's a handle that attaches right here on the heat press. That's right. Whenever you're pressing at higher pressures, which is essential for heat transfer paper, which this is, I'm wearing a heat transfer paper. More uh, that pressed in a here. More of that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, so this one, if you're pressing at higher pressures, one thing you'll notice with the uh, with like the home use ones, those are meant for regular, you know, good. They're able to get pretty firm pressure uh, on your heat press. Um, but one thing about those presses is once you get to higher pressures, it is a little bit more difficult to open them. And so what happens is sometimes you'll maybe you'll put a rag on the heat press or you know you put an oven mitt on so you can kind of hold it down while you open up the top. And again, this is just at higher pressures for high pressure applications. Um, but with the black series, it comes with a secondary leverage handle. So you don't need to put your hand on it. You don't need to get an oven mitt. It has two handles so you can get that good leverage for when you're doing high pressure applications. So yeah, really great feature on the Black Series. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say the Black Series is going to be on sale or it's on sale very soon. So uh, check that out. Absolutely, guys. And moving along next to it, you may notice a similar construction here, but it's got these additional pieces here. What's that for us, what, what you guys see in these components in the arm structure is actually an electromagnet. That's right, guys. We're talking about an auto open Black Series right here. This is going to be available in a number of sizes, but say you're working you know, super fast or maybe you do a lot of multitasking, Auto opens are also great if you're going to be heat pressing in a place of business. By that I mean if a customer comes in that needs some attention and you're in the middle of a press, at the end of that countdown timer, so that cool. electromagnet is going to auto release that for you. So you can kind of set it and forget it, as they <laughs> say. There but uh, yeah. Oh, Ronco, I love that guy. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Either one of these, super awesome if you are you know, really to, ready to kind of graduate from beyond the personal or home use machines. Uh, these are super sturdy. I you know, rarely get any calls about Black Series issues, bro. Yeah, Black Series, again, these are the workhorses. Now, they have an, adi an additional feature. Auto Open is available starting on the Black Series. So it's not going to be available for the Craft Pro, for the Empress. Of course, those are going to be you know, a little bit more affordable, a little bit more entry level in the price range. Black Series, it does have the option for the Auto Open. It also has the secondary leverage handle uh, on the Black Series, uh, actually, they both come with that handle, but you really only need it for the, for the not uh, for the standard. That's right, manual operated press. Uh, but these are awesome. Uh, digital time and temperature, as you can see here, um, super awesome machines. Also, one year standard manufacturer's warranty, lifetime technical support. Exactly. And once again, we're showing you guys these are the 15 inch by 15 inch sizes. Of course, they're available 15, 15, 16 inch by 20 inch and 16 inch by 24 inch. So That's right. A lot of sizes available on these things. So whatever you guys need, we have it for you here. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions about pricing or availability, I invite you guys to give us a call. We got friendly sales staff standing by at 1-800-215-0894. A number should be at the bottom of the screen or you can visit us at heatpressnation.com. Right, so moving on, we're gonna scoot over a little bit here uh, on our station. So I'm gonna give you guys a second. We're gonna come on over. There you go, you, you can head over. Yeah, vamanos. Just All right, guys, so <laughs> where we kind of regarded the uh, Black Series as what we said, small business level production, we're going to keep moving down along the classes. This one here I like to call advanced small business level production. Now, what, what do we say when we mean advanced? So advanced means you're going to be just, your, your output is a lot higher. You need something that's a little bit more easy to use. Uh, maybe something with a little bit less physical effort uh, on the lever mechanism. So this is going to be our signature series. It's actually designed with a slightly stronger build quality than the Black Series. I would say um, so. And for whatever for whatever reason, I'm not sure if it's the science behind it, but the lever mechanism is just a little bit easier up and down, has the upgraded gas shocks on there. Exactly, and uh, just to touch on that, the gas shock is really going to aid and assist in that open and closing motion if you do have that higher volume. Talking about less effort, faster production, higher efficiency, that's going to be uh, ex uh, ex standard on all yeah, these signature series, series, the uh, gas shock feature. But I don't know if you guys can yeah. hear this, but just a nice smooth controlled motion, super awesome. Uh, like the Black Series, this is going to be available as a manual and as the auto open release. Right. Now, originally, when we first launched the slide-out drawer, it was only on the Signature Series. But check that out, guys. This is super awesome. The Signature Series has the slide-out capability. 
Um, it has auto open. So now, if you're looking at the Craft Pro, you like the slide out drawer, but you also want auto open, uh, that's gonna need an upgrade to the Signature Series because the Signature Series uh, has the option for auto open, whereas the Craft Pro does not. So if you want the slide out drawer and the auto open, you are gonna wanna check out the HPN Signature Series. Super awesome, it has a digital control gauge, has everything you need. Guys, these things are amazing has a really nice premium build quality and UL listed parts. For those of you guys who are not electricians and you don't know what that means, UL listed parts means that all of the parts inside internally, the internal components, uh, they are held up to a very particular standard, uh, which just guarantees the quality of the product that you're gonna be getting. So instead of guessing as to what bargain bin old transistors or wires or whatever that's Yikes. gonna be inside of your machine that could potentially burn out, and if you follow the HP and Creators Group, you've seen a couple of people post the burnt components inside of their heat presses. Oh man. Uh, you don't got to worry about that with the HPN Signature Series because it is going to be that quality machine. And really, it's the best heat press you're going to find under $1,000. Oh, for the money, absolutely. You talk about quality of build, loaded with features, functional as no other. These are super awesome. I, I love this machine here, the Signature Series. Yeah, and, and just, and when I say under $1,000, these are significantly under, they're like, Hundreds less than a thousand. <laughs> but it's funny because the price difference is so great once you get past the signature series. So I'd really, you guys, so. those uh, we have lots of customers who we've seen them on the HPN Creators Group, sing their praises. They love the HPN signature series. Again, I own this one, but with auto open. So this is a standard 16 inch by 20 inch. Mine is actually the 16 by 20 with auto open. Uh, so I'm a really big fan of this heat press. I, I own mine. I bought mine right after I started. So I've, it's been a couple of years now, hey. never had to bring it back. I mean, I work here, of course, so it's not that big of a deal. But, <laughs> I, but just for the sake of saying it, I've never had to bring it back, never had to have it serviced or anything like that. It's just going and going and going. Really awesome heat press. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, and I know we have lots of customers in our groups who also think the same thing. Now, speaking of the 16 by 20 signature series, uh, is that what you use to make the shirt you're wearing there here? I know you mentioned it a little yes, earlier. This is, is actually a homemade uh, shirt by Jared Barbosa. Can you tell us a little bit about this garment? Yeah, really quick. So this is, uh, so, well, let me say this. Stefan shirt, that's, a, that's, that's fully licensed, authorized. That's a legitimate Oh yeah, no, we didn't, we didn't make this. We didn't make that here. <laughs> this is a little bit more, we're gonna call this a home use. There we go. Home use, there it is a home use t-shirt. There we go. Uh, but I know we get a lot of questions on the washability of Jet Pro Soft Stretch. Just cause we talk about it a lot, it's a really popular product. It's really, really just been, I feel like saying taking off, it's been taking off for years. It just keeps growing and growing, it's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. But we get questions on the washability a lot. I made this shirt in June, uh, I was attending a music conference. Um, and I just wanted a cool music related t-shirt to wear. Uh, so it's fan wear, I guess you could say. Uh, I made this in June and legit, I wear this shirt every week. He's not kidding. I, I would wear it more often, but I only do laundry once a week. So therefore I can only wear my t-shirt once a week. Um, so I've been literally washing it weekly since June. I don't feel like doing the math, but I'm pretty sure that's at least 15 to 20. At least five washes. That's at least five washes. That's at least four washes. <laughs> Absolutely. No. But yeah, washing it weekly since uh, since the beginning of June, <coughs> uh, and and it's still it's you can see the color has faded just a little bit. And Ever if you were so. to catch me in another six months, uh, it would probably fade a little bit more. But it's very soft. The fade looks very natural, so it has more of a vintage effect. He just likes to touch it, <laughs> but I don't mind. <laughs> well, the shirt's that soft, guys. I mean, it really just gets a more of a natural feel as you wash it, as you wear it. As Jared said, this is a product favorite amongst customers and staff around here at Heat Press Nation alike, and for good reason. If you're looking to do a full color photo quality transfers onto garments, this is going to be probably the first recommendation we would say, and these machines are all going to be able to get the job done. Exactly. We've tested this exact product with the M-Press. We've tested it with the Craft Pro and the results are perfect every time, guys. So no matter what heat press you're buying from Heat Press Nation, it is gonna be able to handle your uh, heat transfer paper. Uh, I know we, you've heard us talk about sublimation. If you've watched a couple of episodes already, you know we talk about sublimation all the time. We actually tested live the Craft Pro with sublimation here on Heat Press Nation That's Live. Right. So you know we're- I, I did that one, I think. We did, yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah, yeah. So you know we're confident in our us. product. You know it's gonna kick butt. That's uh, right. And we stand behind these 100%. 
And you know, another thing to add about all of the Heat Press Nation branded machines that we've gone over today, these are all gonna be safe for in-home use. Yes. Now we do recommend plugging directly into a power outlet. It means no extension cores, no surge protectors, and uh, also maybe not running on the same outlet or breaker as another major appliance. Right. But these are all gonna be safe to use in-home, start your business you know, in the comfort of your own surroundings. Exactly. Uh, you know, let's just check in really quick yeah. to see if we got any more questions. Lance Scott is asking, does the drawer make a big difference? It does if you're an idiot like me. Or a beginner. Or if or you have beginner. if you have users with maybe mixed experience levels who are gonna be operating the same machine, it's definitely gonna make that learning curve a lot smoother, I would say. Right. And we'll give you an example. So I'm gonna this, this is off, so it's safe to do so. I'm gonna put the definitely put off. this if I like let's just say this was my t shirt and I had to load it into the press, my hands are getting pretty close to that heating element, right? Uh, which is, if you're uh, really smart about it, if your experience is not going to be that big of an issue. If you're an idiot like me, uh, I have burnt myself several times demoing machines here. Uh, it's just, it happens. Um, but what the slide out drawer does is since it comes out and I have to place this here, now look how much clearance I have um, without, you know, that's as much room that I can move without burning myself on the heating helmet. So really, I mean, some people think of it, it is convenient because you kind of have a more overhead view of the slide out drawer, which is really helpful. But then also it's to me, it's more of a safety feature than anything. I mean, I, yes, the convenience is awesome. You'll notice that immediately how easy it is to place your transfers on there when it's in the open position. Um, but really, it's just so much safer. No, absolutely. So, I mean, you see the distance that's going to be created by having that. And if you want to talk about production, you want to talk about efficiency, you know, this is really going to get you in and out of there, loaded, pressed, onto the next one. And just, it makes a difference, especially yeah. if you do have that big order that just came in, they need them ASAP. So, and you charge them for expedited. Yeah, you, you, you get your money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But these are super awesome. Like I said, best bang for your buck, feature wise, quality wise, support wise. This is definitely a winner here. Yeah. So, uh, King Green is saying the 1620 and 1624 are all landscape. Uh, I believe the 16 <coughs> by 20, you know, I will need to get a confirmation of that. This is a 16 by 20. This is a portrait mode. Yes, absolutely. Um, now, if you saw the 16 by 20 Empress, that yeah. one actually is landscape. It's the only 1620 landscape that we have. Um, so, but yeah, 1624, that is going to be portrait mode just because it's so... Uh, For stability purposes, yeah. you know, it's I mean, just going to be... be uh, sorry. Yes, exactly. You know, it's going to be a lot more stable so you can maximize that space and having it in that position allows us to offer it at a more of an entry-level price right. for the home or personal presser. Also, at 24 inches, it's kind of hard to reach in and get your garments A whole on. two feet in there? Yeah. yeah. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> so that's why those are garments. We actually, the Black Series 1624 used to be a portrait at the 16 by 24 size. It's just hard to use. Like, unless you're really tall or you have really long arms, uh, you know. There we go. Yeah. Uh, just checking in a little more with our uh, Heat Press Nation live viewers here. Got some shout outs from, uh, I see East Bay, California, Northern California, greetings, greetings. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Puyallup, Washington. Uh, let's see here. Now, we, I got a question coming in from G. Tiana. Uh, she's saying first she needs uh, one of the white ones that may be the signature or the craft. Yes. Both are awesome. But she's asking, uh, what's your hometown, Heat Press Pros? Heat Press Pro, so we're here, we're, well, Heat Press Nation, we're here in Fullerton, California. And this is, I, I would just say my hometown is Southern California because you, I've moved around a lot, but never like out of like a little 30 minute radius. So too many hometowns to count. I mean, if you guys are watching, maybe like Baldwin Park, West Covina, La Puente. There we go, and I'm an Orange yeah. County transplant, born and raised in Whittier, California. Um, but I uh, call Orange County home now, as does the Heat Press Nation headquarters here. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, making this such a very special episode. We kind of started off, as we said earlier, with the <coughs> excuse me, personal or home use machines. Then we kind of went on to the uh, small business, advanced small business. Jared, what would you say comes after advanced small business production level machines? So basically, like we said, so the, the HP and Signature Series is as good as it's going to get under $1,000. Uh, and we say that with pride. I mean, we're so glad we can offer this level, this high quality machine at the price point that we do. Um, but if you wanted to go a little bit higher, we're going to get into our commercial grade heat presses, industrial use. Um, now, what these presses are is these presses are a step up. These are gonna be made in the USA. Um, they're gonna have premium heating elements. So you ask, wait, what does that mean? Your other heat presses don't have good heating elements? No, these are great. These Absolutely. heating elements are great. They do have great uh, heat distribution. It's gonna work perfectly for sublimation, 
uh, for uh, heat transfer vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, heat transfer paper. There we go. Now, but these American heat presses, the heat distribution on there is going to be premium. So it's like, Absolutely. so ours are great, and theirs are just going to be like premium. It's basically like saying, you know, Mercedes is a great car, but then you have Lamborghini. So it's like, hey. Nothing wrong with Mercedes. I love that analogy. Amazing. Great, yeah, absolutely. And you know, and that's going to speak to the volume-wise. I mean, these machines, like we said, they're going to start personal home use, advanced small business kind of range there. Some you need to run for maybe a few hours a day at a time. When we say commercial class, we're talking about upgraded components, higher quality heating elements. These are machines that you're going to be able to run all day, week in, week out. So Every they need day. Exactly. So for that kind of volume, you just want to be working with, I'd say, higher quality components that can handle that increased production, would you say? Correct. Now, there are also some applications which do require a premium heating element, and that's going to be the white toner yes. transfer products. Absolutely. Uh, we've mentioned them before. Um, if you guys are, if you guys know White Tony, you know what we're talking. About. We're talking about the Forever Laser products. Um, we're talking about two-step transfer papers, which is where you print on one sheet, That's you, right. something, you, you smash them together there. Um, you know those presses, they're going to do a lot better. You can press those on a signature series, um, but you'll notice um, easier results, um, a lot more consistent results on the commercial grade heat press, especially the white toner products. No, absolutely. I mean, those would definitely be regarded, I'd say, as maybe like a tier two, maybe even right. tier three transfer as far as maybe experience level or equipment uh, usage. So, you know, if you are at that, you know, advancing stage, graduating beyond these, you know, transfers we spoke about, you definitely want to be pairing those high quality transfers with the high quality machine. Exactly. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to go over, oh, really quick, we don't want to <coughs> gloss over this too much. This is the HP and Signature Series. Uh, swing away. We do have swing aways available for HP and Signature Series, available in 12 by 15, 15 by 15, and the gigantic 16 by 20 swing away. That's right. So we're, we just wanted to pause there really quick. Um, but now, this is this is pretty awesome actually. Yeah, this is going to be uh, one of our what we'd regard as commercial or industrial grade machines. This is going to be an awesome 16 by 20 swing away model from the Hicks Corporation. As you can see here, that range of motion, you're going to have uh, very even contact and increased thickness capabilities as far as uh, compared to maybe say like a clamshell. This element's going to go straight down. What would we ballpark, you say, maybe the maximum thickness for say a clamshell machine? Uh, so for a clamshell, you don't really want to be pressing thicker than a half inch. Uh, and even then, I, I feel that's like that's safe. kind of pushing it. Mm -hmm. You know, well, we, you know, you, if you watched last week, we did Heat Press Nation hack or Heat Press hacks. We showed you how you could press thicker items on your clamshell. But ideally, that, that's if you have like maybe a one-off or a mm -hmm. very small order that you want to do on your clamshell. If you plan on going into production like a on lot. really thick, yeah, yeah. submission items, you're not going to want to have to deal with that every time. You're going to want to go with a swing away heat press, it's really going to have the advantage as far as time saved and, and just the ability to get consistent results every time. Exactly. And you know, if your volume is there, if that production is picking up where you need to be running day in, day out, something like the American made machines like this Hicks here is definitely going to be able to not only handle that workload, but deliver you consistency day in, day out. So when we talk about upgraded components, we're talking about upgraded volume, we're talking about upgraded profits. Yes, and with the American heat presses, they typically come with uh, longer warranties offered by the manufacturer. Uh, for example, the Hicks heat presses, um, they do have the one-year warranty, but the heating element itself will come with either a five-year or a lifetime warranty, and that's going to be for all the American-made heat presses, which are going to be the commercial-grade uh, heat presses. We're bringing up, sorry, bear with me one moment, I'm bringing up the details on the Hicks right now. No, absolutely. Now, this is the, the Hicks Swingman 20E. One thing we do want to point out on this, now, like we said, American-made heat presses, these premium commercial-grade heat presses, the ones you're going to run all day, seven days a week, uh, they're typically going to be pretty expensive. But what's cool about this particular heat press is the Hicks uh, Swingman 20. And I'm finding it <laughs> right now on our site. Uh, but anyway, what's cool about this Hicks Swingman 20 is they're able to offer it at a reduced price because they pulled out a couple of you said, hey, what exactly do we need here? So instead of a digital timer gauge, uh, we do have the analog uh, time setting, uh, which is really cool. It's really accurate, so don't be fooled. Um, the, analog, the analog temperature setting uh, is awesome. And then, of course, for time setting, um, you're just going to want to do that separately. So by reducing kind of what we do on the MPRESS, by pulling away some features, you're able to offer some other features at a really reduced price point, which I think is amazing. Now, Hicks, don't get us wrong, this is not the only heat press they have. They have an amazing line full and complete line of heat presses 
with the digital gauges, with the auto open, That's right. and they also have the hydraulic presses. Oof. We're going to have to show you guys those on another day, but man, tell me about the hydraulic presses really quick. I mean, you talk, those are air compressed operated. I mean, you're talking about something that's going to be fully, you know, kind of doing your work for you. If you're in that high capacity, super high volume, you're in full blown production mode, something like that's just going to you know, really make a difference time wise as far as getting your products to production, to the people. If you're at that volume, you know, give us a call. Like I said, we do have friendly, knowledgeable sales staff standing by to you know, answer any of your questions. Number is going to be below 800 215 0894, or you can visit us at heatpressnation.com for more details. Exactly. But these so, are awesome. We've been carrying these for a while. Yeah, hey, Higgs hey, can't say enough good things about these heat presses. They're extremely high quality. And this is, trust me, if you guys want one with the digital time temperature gauge, they are super robust with features. You got to check them out. Uh, they're available at heatpressnation.com. So uh, you don't need to look very far for this, guys. We have the Higgs Swingman 20E right here. Coming up next is another uh, one of our commercial grade heat presses. I love this one. No, these are awesome. Everything from the George Knight Company, I'd say, really gets flying colors as far as reviews, regards, and the build on this. And this here is going to be our Geo Knight 1620 with the auto open. Yeah, we'd like to call this the tank that makes t shirts because <laughs> the Geo Knight Company, they build their stuff to last. This is US components, US steel. Uh, everything here is made in the USA, so you know you're doing a great job uh, when you're purchasing from Geo Knight. Um, and we're, we're telling you guys, we, it's funny because we get people who call in for new Geo Knights and say, yeah, you know, mine finally went after about 22 years. And you're like, what? He's not kidding. <laughs> yeah, He's no, not that, kidding. that is not a joke. You know, people will say, you know, mine still works, but it's been 15 years. I'm ready for a new one. <laughs> and, it, and it's funny because, like, we're not even, we're, like, legitimately not even making that up. No. That is totally true. Geo Knight, they, they just, they have a great reputation for being built like tanks. Their support is awesome. That's um, right. If you've ever had to call them for whatever reason, uh, you know you can attest that. The support is really great Absolutely. on Geo Knight. Of course, we support them as well. Um, we got that free lifetime technical support. That's right. Um, but for like like replacement parts, uh, if you're you know, you're several years down the road, replacement parts, things like that, uh, Geonite they're really great at servicing their machines. Can't say enough good stuff about the Geonite. And this is the uh, 16 by 20 with auto open. Yes, and very this, cool. This is going to be a clamshell style as well. But if you look at the clearance here, I mean, look at that opening. It's huge. It's yeah. This is a super beast of a machine. Uh, the George Knight Company is actually going to be the only heat press manufacturer on the market that has a patent on their heat coil technology. So I mean, so definitely, a, I'd say a key selling point. You know, when talking about this brand, the quality of their components, lifetime warranty on the heating elements for the George Knight. These are super awesome, as Jared said. The tank that makes T-shirts. Yeah. So that's going to be the George Knight, the last one we're going to show you guys today. And we're just giving you guys examples, kind of one from each different brand, each line of heat presses that we carry at Heat Press Nation. Of course, we have, like, this is not even a fraction. We probably have at least five to ten times as many heat presses available on our website. Of course, we have a variety of sizes, a variety of lines and brands. So there's way more. But the last one we're going to show you guys today is the Stalls Hotronics Fusion. And actually, this is the Fusion. On our site, we're now carrying the Fusion IQ, IQ. which is right. an upgrade. We mentioned Lamborghini, Mercedes, com you know, uh, comparison earlier today. And this is definitely going to be in the Lamborghini range of heat presses. Absolutely. This is the Stalls Hotronics Fusion. Doors you notice that go it up. swung away, right? Check that out. But what's cool is you can also use it as a slide out. You have both options. So, oh, sorry, we have someone some, to pick that up. Someone to pick that up. <laughs> So you have both options here. We're gonna watch, I'm gonna swing it back. There's a little latch back there. You could lock it in place. So if you don't wanna use it as a swing away, you don't have to. There's a latch back there. It'll keep it locked in place and then you can just use it as a regular slide out. Or if you and wanna do that. Look at that both. extension. Fully clear of the heat press, guys. You have, you, you have controlled presets. I mean, there's, there's, this, there's a little computer in there. This one actually has unlimited programmable presettings, if I'm not mistaken. Unlimited presets. So you can have your dialed in for your transfers for vinyl. You can have a separate setting for your transfer paper. If you want to start doing those white toner transfers, you can have the different settings programmed in for every step of the process. If you have time and temperature settings that are preferential, say, for maybe your plastisol transfers, something we would recommend a commercial grade industrial heat press for, you can have all that dialed in. I mean, look, it's even got a, a stylus. It's a cute so, style. No, absolutely. Right. So, I mean, you want to talk about tech in a machine here. This is, I mean, this is what Tony Stark would probably press with. 
This Actually, is what Tony as a matter of fact, if you guys have been to the Staples Center at the Team LA store, oh, you may right, see right. one of these machines. Uh, all the NBA That's jerseys so as of last season, since Nike took over the license ship, they're all heat transfer. So they still are embroidered, applique, but it's all going to be heat applied on what you see LeBron James on the court wearing this season for the Los Angeles Lakers. Laker. This is what's making the jerseys this year. So you can actually own the professional NBA, NBA grade quality machines in your own home. These are awesome. Yeah, so we're super excited about this press. Again, this is going to be commercial grade. Now, if you are a crafter at home and you say, hey, I got, I got the money. I'm down to make the investment. Do it. Like, we will not stop you. This is an amazing heat press. Uh, I have yet to hear somebody say they regret purchasing uh, the Stahl Sautronics Fusion. No, same here, so. same here. And a number of these machines will also have uh, specific caddies or stand models available that are going to be custom cut to the chassis of the frame. You can have those super convenient mobile in the workplace. Um, so, I mean, there's so many awesome features for these uh, additional accessories and such not available. And, you know, these are going to be, like they said, the clamshell and the swing away styles. We haven't even gotten into the other. I mean, there's so many, like, mug presses. Cap oh, presses, yes. uh, the sports ball presses we touched on recently. Yeah, so th these work today. We wanted to give you guys uh, a guide as to what to look for when purchasing a heat press, what each individual one does, as well as answer you guys' questions. We're going to be going through the comments for right now, uh, answering you guys' questions. But we wanted to give you guys an idea of what's available at heatpressnation.com and what's available for you to meet you at your budget. So, whatever it is that you have to spend, be sure to give us a call. 800-215-0894. Uh, some of our heat press pros here, uh, they'll be happy to talk you through. Maybe you can tell them what you plan on making. Exactly. Uh, you know, how many you plan on doing per week. And they can give you an idea of what heat press is going to work best for your budget. Uh, so it's really awesome. Be sure you guys, you definitely want to take advantage of our knowledgeable staff here at 800-215-0894. Um, so really quick here, uh, I'm going to answer a couple questions. Actually, S, I'll take that off your hands. Thank you, sir. Uh, and Esteban's gonna, he's actually going to bring in a heat press right now. Um, but really quick here, uh, Melanie Fife Rider is asking, which one of those machines handles various depth thicknesses with going from shirts, slates, tiles? You're definitely going to want to swing away heat press. So I'm kind of close to the camera. Sorry, guys. You're definitely going to want to swing away heat press. Uh, we showed you several. Of course, the Stahl Sautronics Fusion is going to be great. Um, but we also have the HPN Signature Series and Black Series. They both have a swing away option. Um, ideally, you're going to want to go for at least a 15 by 15. I know we have smaller ones, uh, but a 15 by 15 or a 16 by 20 inch swing away uh, will do you just right. For uh, and again, we have those. If you if you don't want to spend the uh, you know the two plus thousand dollars on the fusion, we do have some. Uh, I believe starting at under uh, five or six hundred dollars available in the HBN Black Series and um, Signature Series. Really quick, I I don't know if you guys can see this one yet. They brought it over. Um, so right here, this is the DK20S. You got that S? There we go. Yeah, there weighing we in at uh, just over 200 pounds, <laughs> the United States heavyweight champion, the Geo Knight DK20S digital swing away. This thing is a beast. I love it. So this one again has that Geo Knight, that pat patented heat coil technology. This works great if you're into the white toner. Laser transfers. We got a little transfer left over right there. From Travis Whitmarsh. There you go. <laughs> I'm Check taking this out. now, Travis. So this is a swing away. Ideally, I mean, if you have if you have the budget to invest in this machine, uh, this one is on a rolling caddy, which makes it really great for having uh, in the in the office. Uh, I love this one. No, I mean I love it's it. a tank. I mean, weighing at 200 pounds, absolute workhorse. If you need something to run day in, day out, oh, there we week go. in, us. week out. There we go. Get this thing in widescreen. There we go. <laughs> uh, super awesome here. This one's going to have, I believe, 70 programmable presettings, uh, where so you can toggle between your different options for whatever sort of transfer you're going to be doing. Uh, as Jared mentioned, patent pending technology on the heating coil system internally as well. You want to talk about high quality components, high quality production. I think we have a push high quality heat press machine. Boom. Oh, there we there go. go. Teamwork. There I don't we know why go. it's set so high. Someone was probably doing uh, the forever transfers on there. Because we do, we do a lot of testing here at Heat Press Nation. In house. Um, we test on a lot of different heat presses. So sometimes you'll get to a press and the pressure will be set super duper high. Probably because somebody was testing some uh, forever transfer paper on there. Or something similar like that. So you yeah. want to move this back? Yeah, over? roll this right, one on good. down here. We're just and leaving. then I think we got one more. We're gonna roll out for you guys. They got time for one more machine, right? Got time for one okay. more. Okay, awesome, awesome. So really quick, and I'm sorry, I'm coming back on camera here. So really quick, uh, and this just kind of goes to show the different accessories that we have available 
for these heat presses. We're rolling in right now the, the, the Stalls Hot Tronics. This is the clam shell. So this is the less Lamborghini <laughs> version of the Stalls Hot Tronics. This is the, the normal basic. door Lamborghini. This is a 16 inch by 16 inch, right? Uh, 16. This is I 16. believe it's 16 squared. Yeah, yeah 16 it's by 16. It's probably one of the only 16 16s available. Everything else is usually 15 by 15. Uh, so this is a Stalls Hot Tronics auto open heat press. Uh, very cool, very cool item. And it is, you can't really see the caddy that it's on but it's on this really cool caddy stand. So if you guys are working in, a, you guys have your workshop set, you kind of need it, there we go, showing off my dirty shoes. Uh, you guys can see, you know, it's on wheels, it is amazing. So that way you can move it around your workshop, uh, if you, especially if you guys are on the go or you need to make maximum space in your workshop, you don't have a huge spot for it. Um, it's really great. Um, and I, I particularly love this one. Of course, if I have my pick, the Fusion, but this is like almost half the price of the Fusion. So you know, if you're not ready to spring for the Fusion yet, but you do want that commercial quality heating element, uh, you're getting, maybe you're getting into some, you know, some advanced yes. laser transfers, this is gonna be the way to go. Yeah, and guys, just for all of you watching out there, Heat Press oh, Nation is proud to offer not only personal, but also business financing. So if there's something maybe you're looking interested in getting a quote on, we offer services through the Affirm Company as well as QuickSpark. For more details, please feel free to give us a call at our sales line. The number's gonna be down there below. But uh, financing options for uh, everybody. So, oh, hey, there we are. Oh, there we are, <laughs> I found it. Right on, right on. Hey, guys. Oh, we got some comments coming in here. Justin Dudek, look at that graph tech sitting in the background. Aww. Yeah, that's uh, another that's one of our awesome uh, toys. We love to work, test, and uh, produce you know, stuff here on a regular, pretty regular basis. Oh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Uh, we got Dina Barbosa chiming in. The dynamic duo is back. We're back. Hi, Mom. Yeah, and I, call, and I can call Mom too, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and you know, speaking of that, so it's really good to have us coming back. Last week, of course, you guys, you saw our very special guest, Michael Garcia. Love having him by. We're definitely going to bring him back very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but uh, it's good to have you back, man. It's great to be back. Uh, yeah, for those of you guys tuning in last week, I was out of the country taking a little quick, super short oh, vacation uh, down in the country of Mexico. We were in Cancun, nice. uh, where this guy uh, honeymooned just uh, not too long ago. I, I screened it for him. I made, I made sure it was safe. Absolutely. He cleared the beach for me, made sure yeah. there was no riffraff, <laughs> but super fun. Got so lucky with the weather. Highly recommend you guys go. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. How, it was was great. How were the tacos? It was all, everything was delicious. The best thing, honestly, I had was uh, about four tentacles of charred octopus. Shut up. Oh my goodness. Oh you. my goodness. It was amazing. If we're comparing food, the best thing I had was the chorizo. If you guys don't know what that is, just Google it. C H O R I Z O. Chorizo. Not to be confused with soy rizo. Ugh. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. My wife has me on that stuff. Hey, well, God bless I'm, her, man. I'm not allowed to eat the real thing anymore. Oh, man. I'm, I'll, we'll go out one of these days. Don't get some she doesn't watch this anyway. Okay, right. there we go. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, uh, I, have a, I have a comment here. Chris Gold yeah. says, so was the difference between the 1515 and 1620? Really, the only difference is, is going to be the size. Most of these machines are available in multiple sizes. That's right. For example, this Stahl's Hotronics right here, uh, this, is a, this is actually a 16 by 16, but it does have a 16 by 20 available. Uh, if you look, well, you can't see right now, but over there, we showed over you guys there. the HPN series. So we had Signature Series, Black Series. You know, those are available in 15 by 15, and those are inches, by the way, 15 inch by 15 inch, 16 inch by 20 inch, and tw uh, 16 inch by 24 inch sizes. So we've got a lot of sizes available here at heatpressnation.com. Um, we highly recommend taking, browsing through our site. That's Check right. out our YouTube channel if you want to know how these work. How does this exactly put stuff on your t-shirt? Check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe. YouTube.com slash Heat Press Nation. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, definitely want to get those subscriptions in. Make sure you don't want to miss out any of our past adventures. Address should be below the screen, I want to say right now. Um, awesome stuff we got there. Backed up all of our old past episodes yes. and content added weekly. So make sure you get those subscriptions in. And as we mentioned earlier, guys, the Facebook group is super helpful, you know, especially if you're working with any of this stuff, maybe in the beginning, your novice sort of stage. Uh, make sure you want to check that out. It's going to be Heat Press Nation Creators. It's going to be on the Facebook site. Nice. Uh, yeah, so we're really excited to be here. Once again, if you guys are just tuning in, you're saying, hey, wait, where the heck are you guys? <laughs> we're here live. We're at HPN HQ. So we're here at, at our headquarters. Uh, we're actually in our showroom. So if you guys are ever in the uh, Orange County area, be sure to swing by. Uh, we're about 10, 15 minutes north of Disneyland, I'd say. So you can Google us. Our address is there on the site. Um, but yeah, check it out. We're here at HPN headquarters. Um, super excited to be here. And so we're gonna we're gonna give you guys a shot. We have a couple people who want to say hi right now, so we're gonna 
give you a shot in a minute. Um, but yeah, really quick, great day here in Southern California. Absolutely. HPM. Got more love coming in. This is coming from Lou DeMarco. He says, I am ready for a Fusion IQ. Probably be placing that order within the next week or so. Yes. Sunglasses emoji. Excellent. Excellent. Because we see you. That's <laughs> right. Fantastic. No, I mean, you want to talk about awesome. quality components, super sturdy industrial build. You're going to the right spot here. So glad. Thank you so much for the continued support. Uh, we got Gtiana saying hello to everyone in the back. I don't know if she's talking to our sales hello? staff working hard behind here. They're there. Our walk-in uh, guests behind us oh, here. Oh, look, there they are, everybody. So much. Hey. I want to give a shout-out to our sales staff, hey, guys. These are, these, hey, guys. these are our awesome friends who make it work. They're taking all your guys' calls. Uh, after Labor Day, they were, like, just completely, completely slammed. We had a great response to our Labor Day sale. So it was really awesome, but we're super stoked uh, to have them here uh, with us. Honestly, we couldn't, we couldn't exist without them, without our awesome sales and support staff. Uh, so we want to give a big shout out to everybody here. I think they're, yeah, Stefan's handing out high fives right there. So we want to just thank them for everything that they do. Uh, so if you guys have ever called us in, you've probably talked to one of our awesome staff. Uh, we got Rod, Brittany, uh, everybody, Ephraim, Vincent, every, everybody's here today. Uh, Dan, uh, who did, oh, our tech department, which is of course, hey. Stefan right here. You can't see them, they're in a separate room. Uh, but yeah, we're super excited to be here. We're live, so we're on the floor. We're where all the magic happens. We're here in the middle of it today. Super excited to be coming to you live from HPN HQ. That's right. Oh man, this was good. You know, um, and then you know, for all the size we went over, if you're looking for something maybe in a smaller format, we do offer awesome label size machines, kind of starting more like a five by five, six by eight. Available in some of the familiar trim levels that we've gone over, like the Black Series like the Signature Series. So if maybe you need something a little small format, we definitely have options and sizes to fit not only every yes. budget, but every production needs. So hat yeah. presses, Absolutely. this was made right here at HPN. Uh, I feel like most of my clothes now are made here at HPN. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he ain't lying, he ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, but so it's super awesome. We wanna thank you guys for joining us uh, through this walkthrough of heat presses. We hope that if maybe you've been on the fence about buying a heat press or you're just kind of, you're new to this whole thing, you wanna know, what your options are. We hope that we were able to help you out today. But if you still have any questions, even if you're not watching this live, maybe you're watching this a couple hours, a couple days from now, feel free to hop in the comments. Uh, we do monitor our social media very closely, so we'll be happy to respond to you as ASAP as possible, as Michael That's Scott right. would say. And uh, for all of you who were able to like and share last week's yes. post, we will be drawing those names in a separate broadcast or video uh, post later today or tomorrow. I believe tomorrow morning tomorrow? we're going to be going live. Excellent. Yes. And then we're also going to be uh, putting up the entries for this round of uh, post of the week. Post so uh, we're, as I said, we're not up in our normal studio setting, so we'll have those for you in a later post for you guys to vote on. It's going to be option A, number two, or uh, selection C. Any <laughs> of those there for you guys. We'll have those coming in quick. Uh, but no, this was awesome, man. It's good yeah. to be back. Super excited. Good to have you back, Absolutely. Stevan. Absolutely. You guys, we want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share, like as Stevan said. Make sure you like and share this post. We'll be drawing names uh, for this post uh, winners next week. But of course, we have our winners from this week that we're going to announce tomorrow morning. Uh, so we're super excited. We're going to give you guys a real quick uh, shot here. I'm going to get out of the way. There we go. So if you guys want to know what we got going on here, this is our showroom. This is everything that we have here. Of course, the heat press that we're talking about today. And if you can see outside, you know it's a beautiful day here in Southern California. Might head out to Disneyland a little later. Not sure. So anyways, I've talked too much. No, that, that, I mean, <laughs> I think we gave it all out there. If you guys have any further questions, the number's down below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll be back next week. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See ya.